Okay, so a little bit of background here. Um, my CEA kids are doing a modified version of the Keystone Library Project. We have a library that sits directly across the street from our school. I can actually see it right out my shop window. Um, and we were able to acquire all the original plans for that library. And they were sent over to me in a flash drive on PDF. Sorry if I look over my shoulder constantly. It's because I have freshmen in the other room. And um, they can be watched. Anyway, um, so I got a flash drive with all the PDF files of the architectural plans, the civil plans, the structural plans, the mechanical plans. But after um, a little bit of Google searching, I found out that the company who, or the firm rather, that drew up all those original plans went under in 2009 because of fraud, um, like giving and accepting bribes, neither here nor there. Um, but that meant all of the original digital files where I might've been able to get a DWG file did not exist. And I, we needed to create a site plan that included all the topography. Now, we haven't put in the streets and components yet. The kids will do that over the course of this week and next. Um, but I was able to figure out how to use the PDF document I was given to create uh, this topo surface. And I'm pretty proud of myself for figuring it out. Um, I was slightly inspired by a YouTube video, which I will... Um, link into the post as well. But in the end, he mostly addressed the fact that you can do it through the PDF, but you can also use a file conversion software on the internet that'll con uh, convert your PDF to your DWG, which I did find a file converter that did that and downloaded the file, but it took quite a while. This Zamzar um, created the DWG file from my civil sheet that was a PDF. I haven't tried to import it yet to see how well it works or if it works at all. So anyway, I'm gonna go through the process of how I created what I did. Um, so we're gonna look at this version here. This is not one that we're using. This is a plan that was just pretty basic, not many changes made from the original structure. And when you go to create this, you need to be in the site tab. And you also want to make sure that your view scale is set. Um, the plans that I had were one inch equals 30 feet. And my elevations go up to 726 feet. So I need to scroll on down here to my view range and make sure it's set high enough. Freshman squealing in the background. Um, Okay, so this looks good. Now what I'm gonna do, um, I'll show you what the full plan looked like. If I go to insert PDF, yes, okay, we'll save the project. Always nice to have that reminder. Um, didn't do that earlier <laughs> for auto updates. Eh, that was unfortunate. Okay, so this is the original plan, um, which, you can see I don't need everything on this page. I really just need this portion here. So what I did was a screen snip, screen snip. Yeah, I think that's the right term, Windows Shift S, and snipped out just this portion that I needed and uh, saved it just as an image. And it'll let you do that too. So that was my screenshot too. And plop that right on there. Uh, the existing library structure is right here and the remodel that one concept remodel, the one we're not using is right here. Um, so what I did was just tried to line up as close as I could to the original lines like so. And then I zoomed on in and started down here, went to massing in sight, topo surface, and I was gonna use the place point and set these little points all along your topo lines. And before you click that you're done, you set your elevation up here. So that line is 726, check. Uh, and you have to do this for every line. It's tedious. It took me an obscene amount of time. Um, this one's 725. But even though it took a long time, 
I was able to do it given the resources that I had, because that's just the real world folks. Like there will be times that, or I guess this one's actually 726 also, it would seem. Oh yeah, this one was that weird one that goes all the way around. Um, you know, the real world goes like that. You sometimes are given lemons that you didn't know were lemons. I certainly did not know that um, the company that created these files originally was no longer um, in business and I had to make do with what I had. So I think I left that one at 725, whatever I did. It doesn't matter for the sake of figuring this out. If you know what your elevations are, then you can just proceed. Um, but here's the 724 one. And they're having a very exciting time out there. They have a coloring project. End of the year, May madness. Um, I'm going really fast. I trust, um, or I hope that you will trust when I say that I really did um, go through this layer by layer and was very meticulous. I even zoomed in much further to make sure I was sticking pretty close to the lines. I'll do one more to show the final step. Um, three. Okay. So now on the 723. And keep going. I just feel awkward not saying anything. <laughs> okay. Um, so now if you look at it in 3D view, um, obviously you need to get this all oriented right, but that's really not the part that we care about right now. What we do have here is what I've created. And I think I have it set in um, consistent colors right now. Um, but what you'll notice if you kind of rotate this, uh, it's not, they're not like, they're not merged. Um, they're kind of in sections. And as I went through and did the whole thing, what I had was like different layers that weren't uh, connected. So the final step, what I did was merge surfaces and then selected the surfaces that I needed to merge and again, did every single line took forever, but um, this is just a small slice of it. And this is what I ended up with after doing every line and merging surfaces. Um, like I said, this was the part that was most critical <laughs> to try to get it done so that we had a site plan or a good chunk of the site plan. Like I said, the roads and the trees and all the other things, parking lot and whatnot are not in here yet, but that will be soon. But that was how I used a PDF to, um, oops, I don't know what I'm doing here. That was how I used a PDF to create that portion of the site plan. And maybe you did already know that and I didn't discover something new, which is totally fine because it was still new for this girl. So hopefully it helps somebody. Bye.